So it's the morning before the hurricane. It is Tuesday morning. We are here at Publix. I did pick up some more bread and three more gallons of water, some eggs. This parking lot is pretty full, pretty crowded for this Publix location. I don't know why that van has its door open with nobody in it, but anyway, right now it's just a beautiful Tuesday morning in the Orlando, Florida area. We were talking to a manager inside the Publix earlier and she says this storm is unique and it has a lot of the natural born and raised Floridians a little bit nervous. Now that kind of made me a little more nervous when she's talking about being nervous so I really don't know what to expect we're just playing it by ear they really don't want I know some of you said well why aren't you evacuating here in the Orlando area they really don't want you evacuating unless you're given orders because the people on the coast are going to get it so much worse than we are with the surges from the ocean so they want to save all the motels and all the Airbnbs and such for people that are needing to evacuate, not be used up for people who could be safe here in their homes or apartments just without electricity. So we are just driving around and noticing that all of the gas stations are already without gas in our area. So Jerry was telling me about what him and the guys were discussing at work because I was talking about our apartment. Some of the apartments here are built out of concrete block so far up. And then I believe ours is just the lumber like stick stick apartments. And so what were they telling you? Well, the stick buildings have an advantage over the block buildings. In that they, they have the ability to sway a little bit or lean with the wind or the block buildings do not but what happens then is the ground gets saturated so much with the sand that it washes the foundations and then the buildings start leaning in one direction now how much of this was just people talking or there was truth to it i do not know but this is part of the excitement of moving to a, a place that you've never been or experienced anything like it i think you just ran over a lizard what was he doing out in the middle of a three-lane road here? What well, is interesting that this is apparently not a normal storm. We talked to a lady today that it, this is her 13th or 14th hurricane uh, in this location. She said this one's got a different mm -hmm. feel about it. Watch what we're doing here. <clears throat> Yeah, and that's not very comforting to newbies. I think we are prepared as we can be. And uh, I definitely don't want to be trying to drive to Georgia right now on I-4 at 20 miles an hour. Yeah, Governor DeSantis said this morning, I-4 and the major highways out are at about a 20 mile per hour pace. So you're not going to, it takes six hours just to get from our place up to the panhandle of Florida. And like I said earlier, they're saying if you're not in a trailer, mobile home, in this area, you really shouldn't have to evacuate. We are fixing to get stuck inside the apartment for a few days I have to get my hurricane tea okay, gotta have my tea before being locked in so my daughter's boyfriend is a Floridian he's lived here many 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 years and he was giving me some advice last night and he told me one reason why we needed to stock up on water the reason being is that after a hurricane they do not allow you to 
use your tap water for drinking purposes until they can clear the water and say that there's no contaminants in it. So they say that can take a couple of days. So they encourage each person to have one gallon of water available per day of being without. So whoever's in your household, like there's three of us, we would have uh, available three gallons of water a day. And then you gotta accommodate for your pets as well. So just little things I'm learning as my first year of being a Florida resident. <laughs> in fact, her boyfriend said, well, after this hurricane, we'll make you honorary Floridians. Come over to check on my grand pup, Penny. Well, there she is. There she is. Penny, set. Good girl, stay, stay. Okay. <sighs> Came over to check not only on Penny, but to move the patio furniture off of my daughter's deck here. The apartment complex wants all patio furniture removed. Some people listen and obey and some people ignore it. It's a little more cloudy than it was when we was at the store two hours ago. Okay, now as you see, the skies are no longer blue, but getting rather cloudy. It's about 5.30 p.m. So I just received word that my new job, I was supposed to start tomorrow, has been moved to a start date of Saturday. Tomorrow around noon, we're supposed to get the preliminary winds. Then the hurricane is not supposed to get here until 1 a.m. Thursday morning. I have a couple of items here in the Amazon locker pertaining to hurricane preparation. Let's see what it is. So I have a hand cranked radio in case we lose power. It's supposed to have a solar option and a reading light and a flashlight. I don't know how well made it is, but we shall give it a whirl. No pun intended. And then this Lucy Solar Inflatable Lantern, which I am really excited about because I do watch a YouTuber called Trip Smith, who does various adventures, and he really raves about this solar inflatable lantern. It's also, well, as the name says, it's solar. So um, we're gonna use that in case we go without power. I got another one coming. I ordered two, but the other one's gonna arrive after the hurricane. Tonight, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Sea six to seven feet, occasionally to nine feet. East winds 15 to 20 knots, increasing to 20 to 25 knots in the afternoon. The storms. Showers likely in the morning, then showers in the afternoon. Wednesday night, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible.
I have to say that is one bright light. So I blew up the Lucy light. That's the first level. Second level, third level of brightness. And then emergency. Pretty nice light. I have to say I'm kind of impressed with both of these products with this flashlight got them both on Amazon now all of this stuff since we live in Florida will be used over and over and if we ever decide to go camping we're kind of all set Think that's gonna do it for today's video tomorrow should be the start of an interesting day